Oh, smooth pavement for 25 meters. It looks like we'll get a green light over here. Not exactly in our line of sight. I honestly can't tell, can't remember, can't recall what the cycling infrastructure was like over here uh, in 2015 when I was here last. You can see we're on the other side of the, the Arc de Triomphe now. Let's see what this uh, looks like over here. So now we have a downhill, the other side on the Champs-Élysées. That was a long, steady climb up. Now we've got this uh, downhill here. We're continuing to head north, I believe. Or actually, maybe not. This is more like west, I guess. But uh, interesting. Now we do have uh, this service van in, uh, in the lane. That's not cool. Pretty sure he's not supposed to be there. You can see in the distance uh, the high rises. So we're talking modern Paris. Not sure uh, exactly what uh, district that is called, but there you go. High rises, nonetheless. Okay, I'm making my way up north to pay a visit to Mark Kramer uh, and I just saw this cool little uh, cargo bike shop so take a quick shot of this looks like they've got a really nice urban arrow out front and they have some pretty awesome they have some pretty awesome cargo bikes here in the background you can see a bunch of people or hear a bunch of people uh, laying on the horns because they're blocked. They can't get down this street. Wow. They are blocked. I am gonna roll. I'm just kind of making my way down some of these uh, back streets here.
Okay, well, we are, uh, we're heading down this uh, rather wide street here. It doesn't look like there's any provision for us, but uh, I'm not alone. There's a few people riding bikes around me. Just can't see them. They're off from behind me and to my left and my right. street that has been taken into consideration yet. that uh, has much in the way of uh, facilities heading in this direction. We've got a bus and bike lane on the other side of the street. And for us on this side, good luck. bus and bike lane. However, it's blocked by this truck. That wasn't very nice of him. All right, we're going to be heading around this uh, roundabout up here. Some of my favorite things about Paris are the insane roundabouts. <laughs> favorite because they're nuts. Here we go. Like I said, they're nuts. <laughs> I have no idea 
what uh, this route is going to be for us, but uh, it's anything like what we just had. It's uh, pretty insane. going off plan for a moment just to get off of that crazy street it looked uh, like there was a major traffic jam we'll see if we can navigate around got me around that mess. But it looks like we do have a little bit of a bike lane. Huh, how about that? We're on this for about a kilometer. See if that is uh, consistently decent. This is pretty good. We've got a little bit of a separation here. Obviously, this is a major transit area here. Looks like this bus wants to turn into the, the uh, conflict area. Oh yeah, this is a nice mess of a street. to have cars it's ridiculous and again we're uh, on a nice bike lane here getting away from the insanity that is cars you see uh, in the grass here that's where the streetcar goes the tram all these people they could be on that or on a bike basically have not pedaled since I came away from that uh, crazy intersection. It was all pretty much downhill. A few pedal strokes now. It's amazing how you go from just relaxed, comfortable environment to an absolutely cut-wrenching fist clenching <laughs> situation with uh, motor vehicles. It's really bizarre. It looks like this is the National Opera area there. Ah, first sign of homeless encampments. Guess that answers that question. Uh -huh. Looks like we've got a clot of motor vehicles once again. We're gonna try to avoid it.
doing some evasive techniques here. I basically did that maneuver because I saw that mess at that intersection there. And uh, yeah, it's just not worth it to, to go through that brain damage of trying to negotiate through a bunch of uh, drivers that are just honking. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me a Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much.